Okay, key features of trigonometric functions, trigonometric functions. Let's uh, get into this and discuss a couple of things happening. So we have our unit circle here. This, you'll want um, to have a copy of this because it gives you points, it gives you angles. Now this one here doesn't have the angles on it, but, um, and like the degrees, but this gives you the points and like the radians. However, you'll want one with like the degrees also. But uh, this is good. It'll answer most questions that you need to when you are doing some things involving the unit circles, trigonometric functions. You will definitely need this. So like for an example here, finding out like the, on the triangle, you'll definitely need the unit circle to find the points, the radian, and all that fun stuff. All right, periodic function, a function that repeats its values over regular intervals. Period, the horizontal distance that a function takes to complete one full cycle. And let's go next. Um, creating the graphs of sine and cosine, you'll have to create a graph here. This kind of gives you an example of, it's a little bit of a unit circle here, but you'll just have to plot the points on the graph. Typically, they're going to be in some form of a wave type graph. So you'll see waves. As you can see the waves here, it's going to be in like a wave graph. Just like this right here. Okay, this just gives you the type of the wave. The maximum is always the highest point. Midline is in the middle. And then amplitude is like from the midline to the maximum right here. So it's right, like just that uh, purple line. One period is like in between one wave. And then minimum is the lowest point on the wave. So the midline, a horizontal line that is equidistant between the maximum and minimum value. So like the middle point. Um, amplitude is, again, half of the difference between the maximum and minimum. Okay, questions. I'll have you do the questions on your own. Domain. Uh, the domain of a function is the set of values for which independent variables is X is defined. Range is the... Range of a function is a set of values for which the dependent variable is defined. And as you know, amplitude is like the distance in the middle, midline is the middle point. Period is like the point between like one full cycle of waves. Okay, we'll solve the question on your own graphing tangent functions. Okay, here we have a graphing tangent functions. You'll need your unit circle like the map for this and you plot the points on the graph. And then here's some more examples. Okay, domain is all real numbers where x not equal to pi over two plus n pi for integers n. So this just gives you an example. Uh, we learned about period next. Range, typically you'll see negative infinity to positive infinity. Amplitude for a tangent function, typically no amplitude in midline. Different from uh, the amplitude on like sine and cosine, they're more waves. Tangent is not. It's a little bit different. Even functions here, um, even function, a function in which f of negative x equals f of x for all the values of x. The graph is symmetrical about the y-axis. And see, we have the odd function. A function in which f of negative x and negative f of x, for all the values of x, the graph is symmetric about the origin. Okay, just some different examples here. We have sine, cosine, tangent. Sine and cosine look very similar to each other. However, as you can see, like there's like the one wave in the middle for cosine. But sine and cosine do look very similar. Tangent is the one that will look different. So that's how you can recognize them on different graphs. The tangent looks very different. Hmm, okay, now hopefully that clears things up and gives you just a little bit better of an understanding.